one of the things about Hartford, of course, was that his publisher was there. So that, you know, being there was not being in New York, and it's certainly not being in Boston. <laughs> um, and, but it's a very convenient spot for him to go on writing books and um, enjoying the company of this very, I wouldn't call it conservative, but staid New England town. And in particular, Nook Farm is a, what you would call sort of the liberal wing of this. These are people who were enlightened. It's partly because it is a community that is very congenial with him, personally congenial. He likes Warner. He likes Mrs. Stowe, even though she's a little bit, she's getting a little bit nuts. But she's, she's very pleasant and she's, you know, he gets along with her and he actually enjoys these people. And it is a kind of uh, affirmation of him that they accept him, right? Because the kind of writer he is is not something, something that they're used to, right? In fact, the, it's hard to say, but not everyone in New England was comfortable having Mark Twain around. He, he, he looked dangerous to them, and he was, of course, dangerous in some ways. He was, he's the face of the new literature, right? The literature of New England is something that is only read in college now. When the universities that, that have English majors read it for, for the historical purposes. Mark Twain and his ilk are going to replace that. They are a force that um, they know, they, they sense it themselves, they don't, they're not too overt about it, um, but they, they, um, there's a kind of unavoidable tension between him and who he really is and who they are, who they would like him to be.